Okay, in this time I will talk to you about how to plotting the Kubel Kamang equation. Where is the important thing in semi semiconductor properties because they are elaborated about the band gap of the semiconductor. So in this case we have uh, three different formula the x-axis is uh, h time frequency so oh it is a uh, uh, wavelength and then the y-axis is the Kubel kamang function where is 1 minus r square divided by 2 r and this is the y-axis and the n n is a half of direct allowed transition 3 4 2 4 direct forbidden transition and 2 for indirect allowed transition and 3 for indirect forbidden transition especially for zinc oxide is the direct allowed transition this is the natural properties of zinc oxide so we choose uh, 1 for 2 as the end. So we have uh, the square here. 1 minus uh, 1 for 2 is uh, square. Okay, next to the data. From the instrument, usually we have uh, wavelength, absorbent, and reflectance. So in this case, we focus on these three. Sorry. The A sample. So we have wavelength, absorbent, and reflectance. But in to plot the Kubel Kamang equation, we just need the wavelength and reflectance. So this data we will use to to plotting the Kubel Kamang equation. So next to the next step. So I have uh, here the wavelength, and this is the reflectance, and the energy. Energy is one two four zero. This is the constant from the uh, Planck equation plus a three. A three is uh, the wavelength. So we have the energy. And then just you sort this until the end, you got the value. And then the reflectance is uh, because of this is in percent, so you must convert to a real value, whereas you must do divide by uh, 100. So we got uh, 0.218. And then this K, K is the molar absorption or from the equation 1 minus R square is K. So we got this 1 minus uh, D3 square. So also we, 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 we have the K. And the scattering, scattering is uh, 2R. Two, for two times reflectance is scattering. So in this case, two uh, time d3. d3 is uh, the reflectance. So just this uh, both of this formula just sort until end. You got this all this value. So finally, we must to uh, calculate the this uh, thing. Where is the Kubel Kamang function? So 1 minus R or K uh, divided by 2 R or S. So I have this K for S or A3. A3 is the K for S. S is the scattering. So finally, we got this uh, thing. Where is the y-axis y-axis is uh, 
So, as I talked earlier, uh, we have a square here because the end of the zinc oxide is uh, 1 for 2. So, this is different probably for another semiconductor, probably this 3 for 2, or you can uh, search from different literature. This is uh, especially for zinc oxide. So when we have uh, this thing, we got another thing. So in this uh, equation, you just make sure we have the energy here. And then plotting the energy for uh, the F H V, or this is the this is the energy what x axis and this y axis. So I I will take this plotting this thing. There is many data here. then press the shift uh, I mean control to go another column and as you mark this thing insert and then choose the, the, the this oh sorry I must change it Okay, I got this. So when we have this, this is the uh, y axis fr hp one plus n, and this is the energy h. Uh, frequency and then we cut this uh, graph because we, 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 we don't need this uh, uh, FK format exists and then just the minimum is put the two be one because this is uh, start here and then this is 3.3.5 so the, the, the graph is cutting so I think I, I have about this 2.5 2.5 okay so we we make the bone of x-axis also doing this for the y-axis just press the right click format axis the minimum is zero okay it's no problem so we, we, we got this is 40 40 is enough okay we got this picture and then make sure we have uh, this thing to top plot so we can draw a curve here where is okay here so I think uh, sorry hmm. okay I draw this thing you can see here I got a plot and I take another plot To make sure this join okay so I have this actually this is the point of the band gap but we cannot uh, specify what is value here so we take this uh, uh, line and this line 
and the section here will show is 3.171 uh, so this is where then the wavelength of uh, my data you can follow the instruction the I think you must uh, repeat from your data so make sure you have uh, collect the band gap of your semiconductor thank you